Welcome back inside the Civic Center here in Portland, Maine. Preparations going on behind myself and my guest, defenseman Bobby Raymond, as Binghamton and the Portland Pirates. Game number two of their Atlantic Division final coming up later tonight at 7 p.m. And uh, Bobby, part of this blue line core stepping in here, and it's, it's been held together by chicken wire and duct tape, but uh, head coach Kirk Kleinendorf is very complimentary of your efforts just stepping in from the ECHL. Talk about your first game here in the playoffs with Binghamton. Yeah, obviously, you know, being my first game, I uh, wanted to keep things simple, and, you know, they... Uh, even though I typically play a bit more of an offensive style game, you know, they, they said, you know, obviously they needed me for my defensive uh, abilities. So tried to stick to the basics and uh, make simple plays last night and, you know, everything went well. So, you know, obviously getting the win, uh, everyone was pleased with how it went down. Seventh in scoring with the Everblades this year in the ECHL, and uh, he led all rookies and all defensemen with a plus 26, and certainly that talks about not only your offensive production, but being responsible with the puck as well. And talk about kind of being plugged into a new system. I know you try to keep it simple, but how difficult is that with a new organization coming in here and you're thrown right into the fire? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of stuff to think about for the first game, but luckily uh, you know, defensively a lot of the systems were quite similar to what we were doing in Florida, so it wasn't a big change. And, you know, pretty pretty much any any type of system you're running into, uh, it's something you've done somewhere before. So it's just a matter of uh, trying to remember all the pieces of the puzzle when you get out there. To the old typical, the biggest change is maybe the speed of the game when you jump up from playing Double A hockey this year to uh, Triple A here in the AHL. Yeah, definitely the speed is a big difference, but uh, you know, speed is my strength. So I've always played probably quicker than the level that I've played at in that. So um, that helps me uh, just coming into a game like this. Talk about your season with the Florida Everblades in general, uh, down with them, and uh, hockey in uh, southwestern Florida. I've been down there. My father-in-law used to have a house down there, and boy, how tough is it to come to the rink every day to play a game that's played on ice? Ah, uh, well, you know, you're, it's, you're lucky you have lots of free time afterwards because, uh, you know, definitely the sun's shining 90% of the time down there, and uh, it's, it's definitely a nice place to be uh, hanging out, but uh, it's a great place to work, too. Like, you know, we come out of the rink every day at, by noon, and... Uh, you know, you're glad you get to be done with work by noon. You know, usually the guys that don't make the playoffs are golfing in the spring. You can golf during the summer, or I should say during the season rather, when you play with the Everblades and uh, coming here. Nice to be a part of a playoff atmosphere where the weather is warmer outside and this team really seeming like they have something special here. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, you know, I, I got the call a couple days ago and uh, really they needed to win game seven the last series and of course doing it again in overtime. Uh, so we were watching, obviously hoping uh, for that win and then uh, you know, got the call to come down the next day. Uh, you know, it really jumped in last night. The guys played great and uh, made it real easy for me. All right, Bobby. Congratulations on a great debut and continued success here as the Senators push for the Calder Cup. Thank you very much. Bobby Raymond with me here in downtown Portland. We'll be back with more later today on B-Sense Television.